All right, so if you're not facing the front, please face the front. Yeah, I did it back. Yeah, So for number two, the one with iodine 131, this is a little bit trickier because we, we're just not starting with the same information as we were for the carbon. Uh, and also, this is not dealing with percent, it's dealing with mass. Yeah. All right, and I guess also, we probably are going to end up having days, not years, for the time. Okay, so what do we know here? We know that we're starting with 84 grams worth of iodine-131. And after 48 days, the mass is 1.3 grams. But I, I want to know what the heck the half-life is. So I'm going to jump down one half-life at a time until I get to 1.3 grams, and then I can, I can hopefully figure out what my half-life is. So let's see, after one half-life, I'll be at 42 grams. After two half-lives, I'll be at 21 grams. After three, I'll be at 10 and a half. After four, I'm at 5.25. After five, 2. About 6.25. And then one more, right? And I get to my 1.3 grams. So that tells me that 48 days corresponds with six half-lives. And I think it makes sense to divide the number of days by the number of half-lives. I think that makes sense, which gives me eight days, but let me just fill in the, the column to make sure that that makes sense. So eight, and then eight is 16, and another eight is 24, and another eight is 32, and another eight is 40, and another eight is 48. So that worked out, that worked out. So that was tricky again for two reasons. We had mass, not percent, and it was just different starting information. Follow-up questions about iodine. All right, let's do phosphorus with number three. All right, we have even different information this time. The answer, by the way, is uh, 96 grams. And for this one, uh, we, we have 12 grams that we're analyzing. We do know the half-life is 14.3 days, and we know it's decayed for 43 days. So this time, I don't know how much mass I'm starting with. I know that I end up with 12 grams, but I don't know what I start with. I do know that I have 12 grams after 43 days. And I guess I don't know how many, well I don't really know how many half-lives that is, but I can um, figure it out pretty, pretty readily. So for this one, I'm going to double the mass each, uh, hold on, why, 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 am I, why am I being mildly confused? What was the mass of the original sample? So I got to go up uh, 43 days. Well, I do know that the half-life is is 14.3 days. So I suppose I can step down 14.3 days at a time to figure out how many half-lives have passed. So 14.3 days would be after one half-life. Two half-lives would then be another. Four, I got to speed up a little bit. Three half-lives would be another 14.3. That's 43.9. Oh, there I am. 42. Point whatever. There I am. 43 days. And I have 12 grams there, right? So now I can go back up the other way. After three half-lives, I have 12 grams. I had double that a half-life before, double that a half-life before that, and then I must have started with 96 grams. I don't know that they can really get different than these three examples show. So if we're kind of okay with those three examples, I think, I think we'll be all right. All right, so we did not get to our induced transmutation objectives. That's fine. Take us five minutes next time, and then we'll pre uh, proceed into uh, topic 7.3, which uh, gives us some new units for things. Really, Amanda still didn't take didn't take Jacob's card either. Come on, Amanda, fix it. Well, I didn't notice that I I didn't <laughs> never got Jacob's that it was card. Still there.